What if the most precious gemstones weren't buried in mountains or hidden deep beneath the earth, but floating beneath the waves, guarded by ancient coral, volcanic vents, and sea creatures who've never seen sunlight? Today on EGS Pro, we're diving to the uncharted depths to uncover the top 10 rarest gemstones ever discovered in the oceans. From deep sea sapphires to pearls grown in nuclear wreckage, the final gem will leave you breathless. So take a deep breath and let's begin. 10. Black Coral, the Forbidden Stone of the Deep. Beneath 300 feet of pitch black ocean lies a creature that moves so slowly it appears frozen in time. Black coral is not a stone at all, but a living organism hardened over centuries into deep, twisting branches of hardened keratin. Divers risk their lives to harvest it, threading through jagged reefs, often with only minutes of air remaining. Once polished, it gleams like glass, absorbing light into its velvety core. But here's the catch. Black coral is legally protected in many regions. It grows only a few millimeters per year. Some specimens are older than the pyramids, 3,000, even 4,000 years old. This isn't just jewelry. This is time, fossilized in motion. 9. Blue Pearls The Gems of the Rainbow Lipped Oyster You may have seen white pearls, maybe even pink or silver. But have you ever seen a pearl the color of a tropical storm? In the lagoons of French Polynesia, Pinctada margaritifera, the rainbow-lipped oyster produces blue Tahitian pearls, ultra-rare, with shades of stormy blue, electric green, and violet undertones. They're not dyed, they're real. And the rarer the hue, the more valuable. Out of thousands of oysters, only a few produce this color naturally. These pearls form when an irritant slips inside the oyster's soft body. Over years, the oyster coats it in layer after shimmering layer of nacre, until a miracle is born, a perfect sphere of ocean-born beauty. 8. Sea Sapphire The Vanishing Gem You've never seen a gem vanish before your eyes? Then you haven't met the sea sapphire. This microscopic crustacean, yes, a living creature, has a crystalline shell that reflects light in dazzling sapphire blue hues. But the moment you change the angle, it disappears completely. Scientists have struggled to study them because they vanish right in front of the camera. Their color comes from photonic crystals nanostructures that manipulate light at the atomic level. Imagine a gem that controls the color it shows, and the moment it doesn't want to be seen, it simply vanishes. That's not science fiction. That's marine biology. 7. Ocean Jasper, the Forgotten Shoreline Treasure Discovered only at low tide on the rugged coast of Madagascar, Ocean Jasper forms in tight orb-like patterns, like barnacles fossilized in glass. Its swirling greens, whites, pinks, and yellows mimic ocean waves and coral reefs. But here's the twist. The only known deposit was located on a shoreline cliff that could only be accessed by boat at low tide. For years, miners had a narrow window, just a few hours, to climb down and extract what they could before the tide returned. Then, the deposit ran dry. What remains are limited, finite, and fiercely collected. Owning a piece of ocean jasper now is like owning a fossil from a world that blinked out of existence. 6. Coral Fossil Agate When reefs turn to stone Millions of years ago, an ancient coral reef was buried beneath sediment, flooded by volcanic ash, and pressurized into agate. Today, those fossilized patterns form gemstone slabs of extraordinary detail, every tiny coral structure preserved in quartz. These gems are often pulled from ancient seabeds turned dry land, 
like in Indonesia or the Gulf states. But when they're found still submerged, scuba divers and dredgers describe it like discovering the skeleton of an ocean, petrified into color. Some pieces glow orange, others red, blue, even purple. Each one is a snapshot of a moment that existed 20 million years ago. And yet you can wear it around your neck today. How's that for time travel? We've just scratched the surface. The next five oceanic gems are even rarer, even more dangerous to retrieve, and in some cases formed in the most unexpected places, like volcanic vents, crashed ships, and even nuclear testing sites. 5. Heliodor from Submerged Pegmatites The Golden Light Beneath it's not everyday divers find treasure in underwater cliffs that used to be mountains. In rare cases off the coast of Brazil and parts of Madagascar, submerged pegmatite veins, those are ancient igneous formations, hide golden crystals known as heliodor. This gem, a cousin of emerald and aquamarine, radiates a rich yellow hue, like sunlight trapped in stone. But what makes this discovery jaw-dropping is how they're mined. Specialized divers with diamond saws extract the crystals underwater, fighting currents and poor visibility. Just imagine descending into a flooded cliffside, slicing open Earth's ancient bones to reveal a ray of light that's been sleeping there for 300 million years. That's Heliodor, and its name literally means gift of the sun. 4. Ambergris, the ocean's floating fortune. This one isn't pulled from the seafloor. It floats and smells like the ocean and fortune. Ambergris is a waxy gray substance formed in the digestive tracts of sperm whales. When vomited or excreted, yes, really, it floats on the ocean surface for years, exposed to sun and salt, aging like fine wine. Eventually, it washes ashore in rare lucky moments, often mistaken for sea junk. But here's the twist. Ambergris is worth more than gold. A single lump can fetch tens of thousands of dollars. It's used in luxury perfumes, holding scent molecules longer than any synthetic alternative. Collectors call it floating gold. And when you're walking a beach after a storm and see a waxy gray rock, look again, it might be retirement. 3. Marine Opal ghost fire of the Pacific found in only a handful of submerged volcanic zones, like off the coast of Honduras, marine opals are one of nature's most elusive secrets. They aren't harvested like traditional opals. They're found in deep, flooded caverns where volcanic gases once bubbled through sediment and mineral-rich water filled the void. What emerges is opalized stone with ghostly green-blue fire, like auroras frozen into stone. But here's the kicker. Marine opals are so delicate, they degrade quickly if not stabilized properly. Their shimmer, called play of color, dances like jellyfish bioluminescence. Underwater geologists risk dives into collapsing caverns just to retrieve fragments. That makes them nearly impossible to find on the open market and nearly priceless when you do. Second, Sunken Sapphire. The Titanic's twin legacy. Not every gemstone is natural. Some are historic, in the wrecks of sunken ships. From the SS Athenia to the Titanic's sister ships, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds once belonging to nobles and traders lie preserved in ocean silence. One such sapphire retrieved from the remains of a 19th century British vessel was still set in a brooch untouched by time. How? Silt, pressure, and cold temperature sealed it in a perfect preservation chamber. The gemstones retrieved from these depths are not just rare. They're one-of-a-kind historical artifacts, sealed away like oceanic time capsules. Some show signs of coral growth, others salt fracturing, but each has a story etched in mystery. Who wore it? What storm took it? Why now? 1. Trinitite Pearls, born from atomic oceans. This is the most controversial gem ever found in the sea. 
because it was created by an atomic explosion. During early nuclear tests in the Pacific, sand fused with unimaginable heat, turning into green glass now called trinitite. In certain underwater blast zones, this material cooled into round, pearl-like droplets, extremely rare and dangerous to retrieve. Divers from decommissioning crews years later found these glowing beads embedded in coral. Here's the truth. Some of these marine-born trinitite pearls emit mild radiation. Others have stabilized and are considered safe collector's items. Each one is a physical trace of a moment mankind split the atom, where nature met destruction, and from it, something alien and beautiful formed. These aren't just gemstones. They are the scars of history polished into glass. The ocean is Earth's final frontier, and beneath its waves lie treasures shaped not by hands, but by time, pressure, biology, and chaos. Gemstones formed from coral, from volcanic heat, from ancient reefs, from whales, and even from war. So the next time you see a calm sea, remember, there may be more treasure beneath the surface than in all the mountains combined. This has been EGS Pro. Subscribe for more mysteries forged in fire, pressure, and the power of nature. And remember, sometimes the most beautiful things are found where no one dares to look.